blockbuster talk, I think. It's a great study, the Roost, Roost study. And it's going to be presented by Professor William de Wild from the Netherlands. And it's the first randomized trial that compares two different regimens with and without aspirin in patients on oral anticoagulant therapy undergoing coronary stent placement. Well, dear chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it, it's a great pleasure to, int to introduce you to the results of the Woos trial. Note that I have no conflict of interest. We all know that long-term anticoagulant therapy is necessary in most patients with atrial fibrillation and also in patients with mechanical heart valves. When these patients need to go undergo coronary stenting, there is also a need for treatment with aspirin and clopidogrel. In this patient group, triple therapy, which is aspirin and clopidogrel on top of oral anticoagulants, is now recommended by the guidelines. The aim of our study was to test the hypothesis that in patients on oral anticoagulants undergoing PCI, clopidogrel alone is superior to the combination of aspirin and clopidogrel with respect to bleeding, but while not increasing thrombotic risk. And this was done in a multicenter two-country study. After a one-to-one -one randomization, people, patients were allocated to the double therapy group being clopidogrel on top of oral anticoagulants, or they were, were allocated to the triple therapy group, which is aspirin and clopidogrel on top of oral anticoagulants. The patients were followed for a period of one year, and the primary endpoint was the occurrence of all bleeding events, which was classified according to the TIMI bleeding criteria. The secondary endpoint was a combination of stroke, death, myocardial infarction, stent thrombosis, and target vessel revascularization, and also all individual components of both primary and secondary outcomes. This slide shows you the primary endpoint of the WUST study. The total number of bleeding events, which was classified along the TIMI bleeding criteria. At one year, in the triple therapy group, the incidence of bleeding was 44.9%. In the double therapy group, the incidence of bleeding events was significantly lower with an overall rate of 19.5%. When we look, this, this slide shows you the absolute number of bleeding according to the loca different locations. You can see that the rate of intracranial bleeding is identical for both groups. But the rate of exercise bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, skin bleeding and all other bleedings were lower in the double therapy group. This slide shows you the individual components of the secondary endpoint. And which, what is important for you is that the rate of all-cause mortality is significantly lower in the double therapy group, which you can see here. The rates of myocardial infarction, stroke, and stent thrombosis are numerically lower in the double therapy group, but these differences did not reach statistical significance. So, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, the WUS trial is the first randomized trial to address the optimal antiplatelet therapy in patients on oral anticoagulants undergoing coronary stenting. The primary endpoint was met, and as expected, oral anticoagulants plus clopidogrel causes less bleeding than triple antithrombotic therapy, but this is now shown in a randomized fashion. Also, the secondary endpoint was met. With double therapy, there is no excess of thrombotic and thromboembolic events such as stroke, stent thrombosis, target vessel revascularization, myocardial infarction or death. And there is even a significantly lower rate of all-cause mortality with double therapy. The implications of our study is that we propose a strategy of oral anticoagulants plus clopidogrel, but without aspirin, to be used in this group of high-risk patients on oral anticoagulants when undergoing PCI. Thank you. <laughs>